welcome to Deer Valley Homestead here in Central Slovakia and welcome to another day in paradise. Today we're going to have a look through some of the animals and wildlife on the homestead and of course a couple of plans for some more. First up this morning we're looking at Burdington Cathedral uh, and I think we have a couple of blue tits at the moment and in a minute a couple of sparrows. think, although I'm not sure, they might be house sparrows, but bird identification is not one of my strong points. I built this little birdhouse last year. Uh, I can't remember where I found the design. It's maybe on YouTube, so it's not, a, not an original, but uh, I saw it and I thought it looked cool, so we made one for ourselves. those of you who don't know, my name is Andy and the other lady you see in the videos is Beata, my partner These guys come in nearly every morning and have a pretty decent breakfast, make an absolute mess of everything and love to throw most of the food on the floor. Next up we have a little red squirrel who loves to hang out in the walnut tree. Unfortunately I haven't managed to get a good shot of him yet so this will have to do for now. And of course you have to have an aquarium. This guy is a little elephant snail. There's actually uh, seven different kinds of snail in this aquarium at the moment. Two different kinds of shrimp and two different kinds of fish. And there may be a clue here as to where the name came from for the uh, Deer Valley Homestead. These guys have a party in the garden pretty much every night come in in ones and twos and sometimes you can have up to 20 25 in the garden I believe these guys are European red deer but you can correct me if I'm wrong We were pretty lucky, I put this out uh, maybe a week ago and we knew there were deer in the garden and you know we see them quite often but I never expected to catch so many so quickly on the camera. This guy also paid us a visit on the first night uh, this is one of the stags that I've named, he's called Johnny and uh, every time he comes in he's always super cautious and he always scares himself with the apples 
Where this uh, camera is actually located is under a big apple tree, uh, about halfway down the garden. And the deer have had access to this apple tree for, I guess, since it was planted. And every single night, without fail, there's two or three different groups who come down and eat the apples. And at the moment, this time of year, we've got a lot of apples that have fallen in the garden. We've collected up what we can use for ourselves, and the rest we put out for these guys. We don't want them coming into the garden because they'll eat too much of the other fruit trees that are still too young and, and wouldn't survive. And this guy, the cheeky fox. I've, we've always known there's been a fox around, but it's nice to see him on camera. Every now and then we catch a glimpse of him out the window while we're having dinner. And, and there's another clip later on that I'll show you. And here, this is the first time we've managed to catch three stags on the same video. There are at least seven or eight who come through each night. Uh, and any time we go outside at night time, sit on the balcony, you can always hear them rattling the, the antlers. This time of year the mating season is just finished so we don't hear all that noise anymore. But they still like to have a little jostle every now and again, just show each other who's boss. So after the first two nights we moved the camera back, uh, so that apple tree you see in the picture on the right is actually where the camera was the last two nights, and now it's on a cherry tree that we have just a few meters away. And I was really curious to watch the fox in this video uh, interacting with the stag, and I hadn't really realized they just don't seem to, to bother about each other. I think he's in there hiding behind one of the other apple trees further down the garden and you can just see him coming up into the shot. I'm not 100% sure if the stag knows he's there, the fox definitely knows the stag's there, but the stag just doesn't seem, seem bothered by him at all. comes back in for another look. Now there's only about 8 meters between those two trees so they must be within about 5 meters of each other. And then Mr. Fox slinks back off into the darkness. I'm fairly convinced from watching some of these videos that these guys can see the camera or at least they can smell the scent on the camera. I'm not sure but they seem to spend a fair amount of time looking at it as they go past.
next up we have our rabbit Steger. Uh, Steger is a French lop and she's currently about five, five and a half months old. So she's got quite a bit of growth to do. She absolutely loves the Gorilla Pod camera. And any time it's in there, she'll run straight over and start chewing on it. Like most rabbits, they're quite inquisitive. And also very friendly. In case you're wondering where the name Stiga comes from, it's actually a brand of lawnmower that they make here in Slovakia. And we could move Stiga nearly every day uh, with this maybe two square meter hutch. And she will chew down every blade of grass, every weed, down to nothing. Always to the camera. So most of Seeger's diet comes from hay and it's one of the reasons we actually let her eat down the grass in her enclosure so much is that once she's eaten that down she'll actually focus on the hay a little bit more whereas if we move her every day she'll just go for the fresh grass and rabbits I'm told need to eat about 80 or 90 percent hay and then they can have a few treats like this little bit of potato. Just too cute. Well, I did say we'd discuss some of the plans. Coming up in a couple of weeks, we've got some chickens arriving on the homestead. They've actually been here before and they're coming back home. We're also looking to get some runner ducks and some guineas in the not too distant future. Maybe in February, March, once the weather starts to ease off a little bit. And then looking further forward, we're thinking about getting some goats and possibly a little piggy as well. Well, that's it from us here at Deer Valley. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe button and stick any questions in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. Have a lovely day.